Hi, Dr. Cobb back with you. We are continuing on this little series we've been doing looking at hip pain during squatting or lunging. Uh, I've done two videos on this so far. If you haven't watched those, please go back and watch them. Video one, we talked about utilizing the vestibular system to facilitate extensor activity. Uh, we've talked about problems in hip extensors and external rotators as a big driver of hip pain and knee pain uh, and also back pain while squatting lunging, doing other exercises, or even during walking. Uh, in video number two, we showed you some different loading strategies, and what we're gonna cover today is probably uh, my favorite kind of graduation exercise, if you wanna call it that, for really beginning to load gluteus medius, the deep hip rotators, on the problematic side. So I would not recommend that you start with this one. You wanna make sure that your hip is feeling pretty good, that you're getting out of pain, and that you feel like you're ready to begin doing some strengthening. This is a very simple looking exercise, but when done appropriately and correctly, it's pretty intense. So as a quick reminder, whenever we're doing lunge work, let's say I have a problem on my right hip and we're trying to use a lunge to help increase activity in the extensors and rotators, we wanna make sure that we're utilizing a specific lunge position, which is more of a forward lean rather than a traditional upright lunge position. I want to get a body lean, I want to keep my heel on the ground and my knee locked because as I move my, my uh, center of gravity forward, this is going to cause the extensors to become more active. Once we're in this position, we're driving the heel down and back and also adding in a small amount of rotation against the ground. As you do all of that, you'll feel your butt and the deep rotators of the hip really starting to become active. Now, to make that more intense, we're going to use loads in the hands. I'm using little small five pound dumbbells. Depending on your size, your strength level, your conditioning level, you may need to use nothing or a one pound dumbbell or a can uh, all the way up to something that's quite heavy. Uh, I just typically find these are easy to demo with. And for a lot of people, this is the most weight I will have them use. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into that lunge position. We'll drive forward again, heel to the ground, knee locked, heel pushing back, foot slightly turning out mentally. We're not letting the foot slide, but we're creating that external rotation force. We're gonna to hold the dumbbells in front of us, we're gonna drive them out, and then we're gonna rotate to the side. When I rotate toward that side, I'm gonna be causing a lot of additional stabilization work to occur in that hip. So we're combining an isometric of the hip with a rotation and then that anterior load. You will feel uh, this through your shoulders, you'll feel it through your back, you'll feel it through your hip. Normally when I give this exercise to people, I have them do somewhere between five and 10 reps, relax, put the dumbbells down, walk for a minute and then squat, lunge, or in some other way test uh, the problematic hip to see how it's responding. If it's responded well, you'll want to aim for maybe three to five sets of five to 10 reps um, with the dumbbells. Again, this is not a kind of true strength training. We're basically utilizing this for a lot of intense activation. So you can continue to take the reps up somewhat high, but just make sure that you're giving yourself appropriate rest and you're moving in between uh, your, your sets to make sure that your brain is accepting the changes uh, that you're asking it to make. So as a reminder, we have our lunge position, we have our isometric combined with a, a rotation toward the problematic side, and we're using those dumbbells to add some additional leverage uh, to make everything work a little bit harder. So like I said, this is a graduation exercise for a lot of our hip clients. Give this a shot, let us know how it works for you. 